All right, guys, this is my official review of the Pata 3. I have been using this for a week now, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about my experiences with the Pata 3. It's an amazing device to have, and um, especially if you are a developer, you will want to need something like this because it makes the process very easy. Before I go any further, I would like to give a shout out to PyTop for sending this thing over. They actually sent me a unit. That is how I'm able to, you know, make this video. So they made this whole thing possible. So if you don't know what PyTop is, please go ahead and Google that. They make amazing laptops using the Raspberry Pi. And um, if you're in the development community, you should know what the Raspberry Pi is. The Raspberry Pi is a um, single board computer and it does amazing stuff. So you gotta check those out and if you're interested in this please head over to PyTop website and order a PyTop 3 without further ado let's get started honestly I have been into the PyTop because I want to start developing I want to start developing with the uh, Mathlang SDK that's why I reached out to PyTop for this unit and they were like you know what man we'll go ahead and sponsor your project so I was like Oh man, that's great. So they, they went ahead and sent me a unit, which was fantastic. And um, I've been trying to set this thing up. When it first came, it had the um, Polaris OS on, on the Raspberry Pi, which I wasn't able to um, reboot because it had some issues. So I had to remove the SD card and, um, and reinstall the Sirius OS, which is the new operating system for the Pi Top. And you can use that without the Pi Top. You can use it on any Raspberry Pi. It will still work. Before we go any further, I think we should talk about the build quality of the PyTop 3. The build quality is pretty decent. I mean, I, I, I think it can take quite a lot of beating. You can drop this thing maybe two or three times, you'll still be good to go. It still looks awesome. You know, they did a lot of work on this. We have to give them credit for that. On the back of the PyTop 3, there are ports. You have two USB ports. You have uh, one Ethernet port. You have your charging port. You have an F headphone port I think it's the uh, the headphone jack 3. Point, I don't know 3.5 yeah 3 3.5 millimeter headphone jack port around the back and then you can see there's a little LED indicator over there that tells you when the device is on or when it's charging and it also lets you know that when it's fully charged so you can go ahead and just you know get the the, the plug for me the pie top comes out of the box already set up, so you don't really have to do much. Maybe the only thing you have to do is, you know, get the Raspberry Pi plugged in, and that's it. You're good to go. It has a keyboard, uh, it has a trackpad, everything installed and built into the um, device. So there's not a lot that you have to do. You just have to plug and play, and that's it. You're up and running. They already installed the OS on the SD card for you, so you don't have to go ahead and worry about that. Well, I have to go ahead and do that because mine wasn't like that but if you get the the, the um, original package you should have everything set up and ready for you to go I gotta say I'm really impressed with the build quality of this device it's very solid no but it's, it's solid I think it can take quite a lot of beating you know you can drop this thing down like I said earlier it's all firm and you know rigid so you don't need to worry about damaging it anytime soon. They just made it for you, developers, because they know that you're going to be doing a lot of stuff that you wouldn't normally do with your regular uh, laptops. So they kind of made this thing really solid for you. So you don't need to worry about that. I'm pretty sure at a certain point you have heard about the Raspberry Pi and you kind of have an idea on what it is, but you don't really know what it does. And you might be considering getting one, and if you're gonna get one, there there is a lot of stress in finding a monitor because you're gonna have to get a monitor, you're gonna have to get a keyboard, you're gonna have to get a mouse in order for your Raspberry Pi to work, and you're also gonna need an SD card, and you're gonna have to download the uh, operating system on that SD card to get the whole thing set up, which is just a lot of work for some people. Some people might not be able to go through all that. So PyTop came up with the PyTop 3, which makes everything simple because they set up everything for you. You have a monitor, you have a keyboard, you have a trackpad, and beneath the keyboard, there's a, a hub. So what the hub does is that it gives you access to your Raspberry Pi because everything is visible through the hub. And the Raspberry Pi is already installed 
on my unit, but if you get yours, it might not be installed. You're gonna have to do it yourself. But it's not that difficult. They have a a, um, a two kit. All you have to do is um, unscrew. I think there's there's a screw right there that you have to to um, remove. And um, once you remove that, you plug your Raspberry Pi in and screw that. That's it. You don't have to remove lots of screws. There's only one you have to remove, and you have to you have your Raspberry Pi um, plugged in, and you're good to go. And it also comes with a breadboard, which they call the Pi Top Proto Plus. It allows you to add electronics to the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. I mean, you you wouldn't normally do this simultaneously by having access to your keyboard, your monitor, and all your other uh, hardware, which is a plus because if you're going to start developing, you want to have everything accessible in one place. You don't have to go looking for this, looking for that. I, I personally prefer it like this because everything has already been set up. And um, as you can see right now, the breadboard is right there which is also called the proto plus that's the screw i was talking about i don't know if y'all can see that black screw over there over the, the heat sink the top is fairly simple it has about two boards you have the raspberry pi 3 which is the main board and then you have a, a hub which connects all the electronics together so the battery is underneath the keyboard i don't know if you can see the cable going underneath the keyboard right there after you slide it down and um there's this silver thingy right here that actually joins the raspberry pi or links the raspberry pi to the hub and um it has this silver um casing around it which actually serves as a heat sink to keep the raspberry pi cool and there's also a heat sink underneath that so all this helps to make your raspberry pi cool which is very good you know, sometimes you're going to run programs on your Raspberry Pi that's going to make it really hot. So you're going to need all of that. And like I said earlier, you do have a breadboard, which they call the Pi Top Proto Plus. It gives you access to the GPIO paints on the Raspberry Pi. So you can potentially add electronics to the breadboard and, and program those electronics via the, the um, Raspberry Pi using the monitor and the keyboard simultaneously and everything comes in one package so you don't have to worry about all the extra um, hassle that comes with setting a Raspberry Pi up. The only major problem I have with the Pi Top 3 is power, powering the Pi Top 3 on. You're gonna have to push down the power button for a I don't know three seconds before it comes on and um, once it comes on everything goes back to its original you know setup right now I'm running the Pi Top series as you can see the spring is already up and running so I had to figure everything out on my own and it wasn't that difficult there is a lot of support from the Pi Top uh, community and also from the Raspberry Pi community so if, if you do run into any problems all you have to do is just Google it and you will get all the support you need. Speaking of OS, the Pi Top 3 series OS is very clean compared to the um, initial Flyers OS. I don't know, I just I just like this much better. Before getting the series, I installed the Pi Top Raspbian on my um, Pi Top 3, but it wasn't looking so good, so I decided to get rid of that and you know go with the serious OS which is clean and the, 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 the graphical user interface is just better compared to the Raspbian uh, OS or the Raspberry Pi OS which they call now and um, it's, it's just so much better than the Polaris or Raspberry Pi OS so I'll go with this it makes everything easy and um, there's not a lot you need to learn because it gives you this uh, Windows vibe if you've used Windows before, which I'm sure a lot of you have already done, so you can just go ahead and start using this without any research or anything. 